It's getting late. Nobody's gonna swipe right in me anyways. We should probably clean up the mess downstairs before I crash for the night. I should fail. Jesus, I made a damn mess. Girl is gonna date me with a house this messy. Jesus! Oh. oh! I need to turn the volume down. I'm gonna get a noise complaint. Would you look at that? Someone liked what they saw.
present. Maybe the keys to those rooms are in the boxes of her stuff in the attic. I don't need to worry about it right now. Well, that's fixed. And nothing happened. Did I miss something? this. Martha about this. No. There's no way this is real. This is... Oh, Jesus. Huh?
Jesus, I really need a haircut. Feeling all right, Klopschik? Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Just you are the good boy. Just you are. This is real. This is the day she died. I've got to tell Martha about this. Am I really? What now? Rip this, I'm not I'm not using that much power. What?
That was fast. Okay, somebody is definitely fucking with me. Might as well stay busy, though. I'm gonna get any sleep now. So, are you going to explain what the hell's going on? Look, I, I appreciate being able to crash on your couch last night, but... Look, I get that this is all really weird, but there are a few things you need to understand. And I promise that it'll all make sense. Or at least it will if you keep an open mind. The door opened a... well, I don't know, a portal? I was looking at an open field from my second floor. My mind is about as open as it's gonna get. Well, I guess the first thing you should know is that... Uh, this is so hard to say. Well, spit it out, then. Okay, okay! Look, I knew you were going to move into that house. I... I've kind of been waiting for you for a few years now. What the hell? Are you stalking me? I wasn't stalking you. I've been trying to keep an eye on you. You know, so that you were safe. I knew you'd be moving in yesterday because, well, I know some things about your grandmother. Your whole family, actually. That's some pretty stuff to lay on someone you just met last night. I know, but just listen. Have you ever wondered why you were adopted? I mean, like, 
what actually happened to your mom? Why your dad didn't take you in? Not really. I was told that my mom died during childbirth and still had a family. That was a lie. You did have a family. You had a brother and a sister. And your mom didn't die during childbirth. She was murdered. And she was pregnant with you when it happened. Shit, are you serious? Who told you this? It's not like anyone would have told me if it was true. Even if it is, I'm sure the records would have been buried. How did you find this out? I was adopted too. Huh? After the incident, I was injured pretty bad. A shotgun blast at close range will do that. The doctor said that my amnesia was a result of the trauma, and it took most of my life to recover my memory of what happened. Wait. You're seeing what I think you're saying. About five years ago, I started to remember things and started searching for answers about what happened. That's when I found out you were alive. That you survived too. No fucking way. This is impossible. Daniel, I. I know it's a lot, but I'm your sister. No. I... I can't believe that. Well, it's true. I was there. Okay. Okay. Say I choose to believe you. Why did our dad kill my mother and... Our brother. Seems like a stretch to think he just went nuts one day. Yeah, it's crazy. Unless you know what good old grandma was up to. Best I can piece it together. She was someone pretty high up in a secret society. And whatever cult she was a part of had her brainwash our father into doing it. That doesn't make any sense. What purpose could she or they possibly have had to mind control some guy into killing his family? Well, what little I found out about the cult says that they needed a child to be born from extreme trauma. An act of violence that could force its birth so that the child could act as a vessel for... Well, I really don't know. A vessel for something not good. And that child would have to attain maturity before being of use to them. Yeah... You know what today is. My fucking birthday. Oh, my 18. Bingo. Why do you think you were finally able to move into Grandma's house yesterday? The very day before your 18th birthday? Because they planned on doing whatever they intended as soon as you were... of age. So, how did you stay off Grandma's where you are? I mean, you live next door. How did she not know? I moved into that house two years ago. By then, I knew there was no way she'd recognize me. You weren't born yet, but the last time she came to visit, I was only a year old. So, when I got the house next to hers, I just kept my head down and avoided her as much as I could. While keeping an eye on everything. Oh man, this is all too much. So, now we're going where? And why are we going to... Wherever it is that we're going? I was able to track down where our family was supposedly buried. And... Well... There's something I need to see for myself before I know what to do next. Yeah? So. I need to know if our dad is buried there, too. Fuck. We're getting close, and I'll get my answers. And yours, real soon. I know this is a lot. Are you... Okay... I just figured something would happen and my real family would come to find me. Just expected to be. Daniel, look out! Holy shit. Oh. That was way too close. Well, we aren't far from where we need to go. 
It looks like there's a trail over there that we can take to where the gravesite is. Alright. Let's walk from here. Yeah, it shouldn't be a bad hike. But you go on ahead. I need to grab my bag from the trunk and handle a little something. I'll join you when I'm done. Uh, what? No, we should stick together. Go on, you big baby. I was going to send you on ahead this whole time. I just need to do this one thing really quick. Alone. Fine. Uh, whatever. Just be careful. Call me if you need a hand, I guess. Thanks, but I'll be okay. I promise it won't take long. It'll be worth it. Oh, and one more thing. Shit, Martha, a gun? Really? When I first found out about you, I started looking further into the society that Grandma belonged to. I wasn't able to dig up much, but I did find out about a gathering they were having. I managed to find a place to hide and watch, and during the meeting, well, I stole this. It's some kind of relic for them. Seriously? A relic? It's just a fucking handgun. I know it looks like it's nothing special, but the way they were handling it, it was like they were touching Excalibur or something. I want you to take it, just to be safe. I already took it to a gun range and tested it. It works just like a normal gun. <laughs> You're joking, right? I've never even held a gun before. Just take it. I'll feel better knowing you've got something to defend yourself in case those nut jobs come looking for you. I'm just freaked out. I get it. It is spooky out here. I'm surprised we haven't run into anybody else. But hey, wasn't I supposed to be the one calling you? I mean... Yeah, no, you're right. I'm sure I'll still get to play the damsel in distress at some point. But seriously, call me if anything happens. I will. Oh, and uh, thanks for letting me keep Plops at your place while we do all this. I bear the thought of leaving you in that spot. I feel so bad moving in there now. Okay. No sweat. As long as he doesn't chew up the furniture, we're all good. No promises on that.
alive. If that's what you mean by okay. I just got attacked by a weird finger-faced dog monster. A, a fucking what? No, no, I don't know. I, 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 I can't explain it, but there's something else out of here too. It's like, it's like the whole world is descending into freaky moan, and we've got front row seat tickets. Good. Oh, oh, You're okay though. Yeah. The gun order would have been monster chat. Glad you're okay. Just stay on the path and try to avoid any more encounters if you can. Well. Right, going hide today. Sorry. 